Shalom Israel. I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you, Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. All right, I want to do this video. Uh, hopefully get it out the way before this customer calls me back but uh right now what we're looking at is you know as you see you know we've been in our teachings having to go back into the quran uh the id just happened i believe a couple days ago so you know ramadan is over but somehow the spirit has us going back to you know the i guess going into the the islamic uh demon so to speak um here I'm looking at Surah 17 chapters. I mean, that's the Surah is a chapter, verses 102 and 103, where it says, He said, In truth, thou knowest that none sent down these portents save the Lord of the heavens and the earth as proofs. And lo, for my part, I deem thee lost, O Pharaoh. And we wished to scare them from the land but we drown him and those with him altogether so this scripture right here in the quran agrees with the scripture in the bible which we're about to read which um you know which basically says that the the pharaoh and the egyptians were drowned you know now here, here it says by faith they passed through red through the red sea as by dry land which were which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. So the Quran agrees with the Bible, or let me say this, the Surah 17 verses 102 and 103 agree with the Bible. Now let's take a look at Surah 10 verses 90 through 92. And we brought the children of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh with his hosts pursued them in rebellion and transgression till when the fate of drowning overtook him. He exclaimed, I believe that there is no God save, save means except him in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of those who surrender unto him. What now? When hitherto thou hast rebelled and been of the wrongdoers. So 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 this is uh I guess Allah being uh being oh what's the word I'm looking for? Being uh sarcastic, right? It says, But this day we save thee in thy body that thou mayest be a portent for those after thee. Lo, most of mankind are heedless of our portents so this right here says that the pharaoh was spared so here it says the pharaoh was spared here sorry Salak, i'm looking for something in the in the bible here it says the pharaoh was spared but here But we drown him and those with him altogether. So we have a contradiction in the Quran that says that uh, that the Pharaoh was drowned. You know, one one surah says the Pharaoh was drowned, and the other one says that the Pharaoh was spared. You know, so just to clarify, just to clarify, those you know, if, if you don't agree that uh or if you try to say that the scripture wasn't very clear, look at the, what this says. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea, his chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. So it's not just the Pharaoh and his chariots. His chosen captives, 
So there's no mention in the Holy Bible, in the scriptures, about the Pharaoh being drowned. And then there's a scripture here in the, in the Quran that blatantly says that the Pharaoh was drowned. And he wished to scare them from the land, but we drowned him and those with him all together. So which one is it? Did the Pharaoh drown in the Red Sea? Or did the Pharaoh not drown in the Red Sea? You know, so that just goes to show that's just one of many contradictions in the Quran that we're going to deal with. You know, because, you know, we go into scriptures here, man. You know, but with that, I'm going to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. Shalom.